What's up, y'all? What's going on? Hey, I finally finished the movie Lift. And for those who don't know, the movie Lift is Kevin Hart's new movie that's on Netflix. So I was finally able to finish that and give you guys a good analysis. See, at first, I was going to get the movie a 10 out of 10. Because when I was watching the movie, I woke up getting the best sleep I had. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got the best sleep I had while watching this movie. I had to watch this movie four times to actually complete it. I definitely did. Yes. I was going to suggest that the name of the movie be Lift PM, Lift NyQuil, Lift Do Drowsiness. You know what I'm saying? So that was going to be my suggestion for the movie. But I wanted to give you guys a good review. So I was able to finish it on the fourth time watching it. So the vibe that you get from this movie is from like a James Bond, an Ocean Eleven, a Mission Impossible type of feel because you got Cyrus who's played by Kevin Hart. He's the head honcho of these thieves and they come up with these elaborate plans to steal art. So Cyrus and his team come across the offer that they can't refuse. And the reason why they can't refuse the offer is because they'll be getting locked up because from a previous mission they had left behind some evidence. But let's jump into my rating of this movie. I give this movie a 4 out of 10. Yes, this movie is a 4 out of 10. And I'm going to let Cyrus explain to you guys why it's a 4 out of 10. It's boring. Yes, this movie was really boring. Hence, I said I had to watch this movie four times to complete it. It was very, very boring. And the predictability of this movie was off the charts. I was able to read the movie before the things was actually happening. Like, if this movie was a sports team, their opponent would know all the players they was going to run by midway through the first quarter. That's how predictable this movie was. You gonna know the ending within the first 15 minutes of this movie. And this is an hour and 45 minute movie. Like, was there supposed to be believable characters in this movie? Cause I ain't see it. Was there supposed to be some type of splash of comedy in this movie? I didn't see it. Was there supposed to be some type of action in this movie? Well, I seen a little bit of it. But for the most part, all I seen was a movie take things from other movies to make one movie. Like I was saying, I seen stuff from Ocean Eleven, James Bond, Mission Impossible. I even think seen things from Power, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what I seen from there. So remember in Power, who was investigating James St. Patrick? It was Angela. And who was Angela to James St. Patrick? It was his ex. So in the movie Lift, who is investigating Cyrus? It is Abby. And who is Abby to Cyrus? It is his ex. So like I was saying, this movie was taking themes from other places, TV shows and movies to create one. But, I mean, on, on paper, it probably sounded good, but visually watching this, like I said, um, I give it a 10 out of 10 because I was able to get me some real good sleep. And when I finished the movie, I, I was like, oh my goodness, I predicted this from when I went to sleep watching this the third time. But that's all I got from this movie. For those who've seen it, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. For those who haven't seen it yet and is curious to watch it, go and check it out and come back and leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on it. Like I said, me personally, I give this movie a 4 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, because it's really bad. But I'm always, I want to see other people's opinions about it because maybe I was looking in the wrong place. But that does it for this review. Thank you guys for staying to this part of the, of the review. Until next time, let's roll.